Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Ratchet Ray here with a tutorial. Now, this is how I did my intro and transferred it to my editing software and all that good stuff. Now, the software I used is Aurora 3D Animation. I'll show you that in a sec. And I'm running a Mac right now. Uh, specifically, I'm running 10.8.2 on OS X. Now, you go to your computer's Mac app store right here. And then what you'll do is search Aurora 3D Animation. Uh, you can just do Aurora 3D. And what you're looking for is this one right here, Aurora 3D Animation. Uh, now, this is probably the best software editing thing I found for the Mac. Um, it has everything from beginning stuff where it gives you a template and you insert your own stuff to advanced stuff like creating your own uh, symbols and emblems and logos and making your own custom animations on them. But once you get that downloaded, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and open it. Uh, you can experiment around. This is my intro right now. Create some new stuff. Make your intro. Do whatever you want with it, guys. Just This is mine. This is what I did with it. And now here's the big uh, tricky part. Everyone wants to know how to get it from here onto your editing software. Now, what I tried doing when I first did this, you know, I, I thought the logical way when just going up to here and stuff. All right, that's enough. It's enough of that playing. We don't want to play that anymore. But you just go up to the file. If it opens, file, and I was thinking, you know, import export image, export animation, and I was thinking, okay, that's what I do. But once you do that, it exports it as a QuickTime player movie thing, but when you try to open it, it says the software isn't recognized and it's not accepted or whatnot. So the way I bypass this is if you have QuickTime player, which is pretty standard, I think, on all Macs. If it's not, go ahead and download it. Pretty sure it's free. But anyway, you do QuickTime player, and you open it, and you go up to File, on QuickTime Player and there's new screen recording. Now you click that and a little window about yay big will come up and there'll be a little um, record button on there. And you click the record button and then this message comes up here and says uh, click and drag area of screen to record or just click for whole screen. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click and drag and it's pretty much do this and crop your thing to like the points of the window and then click your button and it will start recording and then you'll go down here play your animation and then you want to be careful at the end and move your mouse around and go back and click stop so your mouse doesn't show up in the video and then once that's done uh, you'll save it and what I found the easiest thing to do was was I saved it to a folder I made on the desktop just so I could find it really easy in this case the folder is Ratchet Ray and then my editing software I used is iMovie. Now, open iMovie and then you start a new project. Uh, no theme. Go ahead and create. And then what you do is you'd go up to File, Import, Movies. And since I put mine on my folder, just go to the desktop, Ratchet Ray folder. There's my intro. Go ahead and import it. It'll give you all the loading stuff. It's going to process the event, might take a sec or two depending on how long your animation is, and then once it's loaded, for some reason mine doesn't go to the end, it just goes to the middle, maybe because I already have a Ratchet Ray thing updated or uploaded from when I did my in intro in the beginning. So we're just going to go down to that, and then here it is, go ahead and highlight the whole thing, and you drag it up there. And then what you do is go ahead and crop out the like endings, you know, so you can get your don't know why two came up here. Uh, crop the, out the endings and the start where it's just sitting there, like right here at the main screen where you're recording then play. So crop it out to like right there, and then crop out the ending to where it stops. It's so, like mine stops animating right there, but the video keeps going because the recording kept going. And so you just crop out that. You could go over here to music, throw a soundtrack in there. Encourage you making your own stuff on here. GarageBand, that's what I've been doing. Um, but anyway, that's how you get your animation onto your editing software. Easiest way I've found. So go ahead and subscribe, guys. Spread the word. More videos to come. More awesome stuff. And 
Thanks.